What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today we're going to go over the five best lures when trying to catch pelagics from the Long Island Surf. Now pelagic season is right around the bend. Usually Spanish mackerel are the first of them to arrive. And this is one of, if not my favorite type of fishing from the Long Island Surf. And if you're interested in learning more about pelagic fishing, make sure you check out my playlist on catching pelagics from the Long Island Surf. I got countless videos catching everything from Spanish mackerel to Atlantic bonito to albies, even frigate tuna. And this year I'm still going to try to add to that list. We also get Ciro mackerel as well as bullet tuna, those two I haven't caught yet. And then also in the top of the, the north side of the Long Island Sounds on the Connecticut coast, there's actually a couple spots where in the summer months you can catch uh, banded rudder fish, blue runners, and tiny jacks, you know, on rare occasions. So I'd also like to add that to my goals for this year. Let's get into the lures. All right, first off, you can't talk about catching pelagics without talking about the deadly dick lure. Uh, this is size two and size three. These are the ones I primarily use, um, and green is always the best color when, uh, you know, going for pelagics. They love the color green. Same thing with the diamond jigs. I also use green. Now the way I work the deadly dicks is I usually just cast them out as far as I can and burn them in as fast as possible. They have a really good presentation swimming super fast through the water and uh, you know pelagics have really good eyesight so the name of the game is fooling them and that usually is most easily done by retrieving your lures extra fast. So I've caught literally every species of pelagic I've caught, I've caught on the deadly dick more than anything else so these are a must have. Also um, this is there's two epoxy jigs I like to use. This is the Hoagie. Um, I like this one a lot. It, it has a really good presentation. And the other one I like is the Joe Bags one. Now this one is a little heavier. If you need more casting distance per size of the presentation, you're going to want to go with this one. And these ones come with single hooks, which is, you know, great for the fish. You know, you drop a few that way. But um, both of these are very important epoxy jigs to have. Now also, diamond jigs is not, you know, something I use too much. But especially these little hex jigs, these are great. Uh, mostly pelagics are always feeding on really small bait, little bay anchovies, rain bait. Um, so all your presentations you want to keep as small as possible. Um, so, the, you know, this little hex jig, you know, and it casts far too. This is pretty heavy. I think it's, it's an ounce. Um, definitely a good one to have. And again, of course, green tube. Now, this is not something I would ever normally use to fish for um, pelagics. But the reason I added this here is because there was one day with 30 mile an hour north winds in a really rough south shore inlet in strong current and none of these were even an option for fishing because of the conditions but the albies were there so I ended up fishing a, a, a green A27 which is a very heavy big jig and I was literally catching albies every cast I probably caught 30 that day on this so you know you, sometimes you, ha you can't go by the rule of thumb that you really need these tiny little presentations um, sometimes you have to adjust to the conditions and always keep one of these with you. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe and ring that bell for notifications on future content. I will see you all in the next video.